take your summer evening strolls through Newport, you might need a new path. You know, you don't get to walk everywhere on bridges all the time, so it's kind of nice to just be able to see the scenery, especially when it's a nice day finally. Savannah and Sierra take this path like many do after eating in Newport. We just came from Bob Evans and we decided to take a walk on the Purple People Bridge. For them, a stroll in Newport helps with the stress of school. We come here a lot during our breaks from school since we're nursing students, so it's fun to come and walk, but it'll be a bummer if it's kind of closed off for a little bit. But for anyone who walks through the pedestrian-friendly Newport, they'll see the area getting a facelift. Today began the construction that will improve stormwater capacity with the new storm pipe, shutting down part of the parking lot. Next week, part of the actual walking path east of the Purple People Bridge will be closed as well. I live in Clifton, so we come down here to get away a little bit. Although it's only a small portion of the path, it is a heavily traveled one. The goal of the project is to provide a cost-effective solution to keep the local waterways clean, reduce sewer overflows, and increase sewer capacity. Yeah, let's just start on the other side of the bridge and go from there. I did speak with somebody from the city manager's office, and she said that the businesses behind me, like Hooters and the beer cellar that are right on the river, should not be affected by this construction. Reporting in Newport, Vanessa Richardson, WLWT News 5.